basically for the last 20 years, Western governments have done a few things. They've cut off most aid, except for some humanitarian aid, and they've imposed, especially over the last 10 or 15 years, more and more uh, economic sanctions on the country and have frozen uh, almost all high-level contacts and banned most Burmese government officials from uh, coming to the West. So all of that is very understandable given the human rights situation in the country and given the repression of the democracy movement uh, beginning 20 years ago. But I think 20 years on we really need to fundamentally reassess um, because the policies on the one hand haven't worked at all. It's very hard to say that there's been meaningful democratic change over the last 20 years. And I think one can argue that in some way sanctions have been incre uh, incredibly counterproductive. I mean, if you turn it around, there, you know, Burma is in a region where there have been successful uh, democratic transitions. You look at South Korea, uh, you look at Indonesia, uh, even to some extent Thailand, which was a military government for a very long time. Now it's sort of a mixed government with the military so powerful, at least it's a much freer country than Burma. None of these democratic transitions happened as a result of sanctions and isolation and attempts at diplomacy. They all happened basically on their own. Uh, the economies grew, um, there were new social dynamics that were produced, um, and over time the military became redundant and the whole thing collapsed. Um, it's, it's hard to predict the future, but I'm very, you know, my gut feeling is that if we actually treated Burma more as a normal country, the way we treated Indonesia in the early 90s, I don't think the military regime would last more than five years.